What's up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to another video on the channel. If you're watching this, it's either, you know, it's really close to Black Friday, or about to be Cyber Monday. Um, and basically what I wanna do is outline three sort of tips for you guys that you should be able to implement right now um, to make a lot more money, um, you know, during this sort of like buying frenzy um, and afterwards too. Like this will help you make just a lot more money in general. Um, so let's get into it, I don't waste your time. Now, tip number one, okay, is have OCU installed. And what is OCU? It's Zipify One Click Upsell, okay? It's not an app on the App Store. You gotta search it on Google and then sign up for it and then get it installed to your Shopify store, okay? But what it does, guys, it's called One Click Upsell. And what it does is it's basically a counter argument, you know, where most people, they have upsells and cross sells on their website, you know, after someone adds something to their cart or, you know, when they go to checkout, stuff like that to try and increase their average order value, which works, it's good. But what One Click Upsell does better than anything else is that it does it after the customer purchases, okay? Because again, if you're trying to get them to add more money and they're not really convinced into buying a product already, like they haven't already given you their money, then you can also deter them, you can lose them in that sort of like that time frame, right? Where you're trying to cross sell them a different product. So what Zipify does really, really well is after the customer has given you the money, after they purchased, it'll redirect them to a custom page where you can have your own upsells on you know on your website right and again that is what we use to increase your average order value guys and i know people that make even more revenue on zipify than their actual sort of so like that just shows that they make more money on the back end of things than their actual front end conversions um just on their shopify website okay guys um now out of every so basically like to kind of put that in the, in the frame for you guys like out of everyone that buys from you okay so anyone that you know that purchases a product from you there's there's going to be a percent of them small or large that can be inclined or that can be persuaded to buy more from you or to give you more money, okay? And that's what you need to do is you, get, you have to give them the ability to give you more money if you have products on there that they're interested in, okay? Because they've already bought something from you and right after they buy, that's like they've already given you their trust, they've already put in their, you know, their personal information, they've given you their money. So the second they like, purchased already, guys, that's just another time to capitalize where they're even more likely to purchase the product, especially if you have the right offer for them, okay? So again, this is where you really, really need a strong offer with this upsell app. Um, I've seen people, you know, for example, if they're selling sunglasses, guys, I've seen people sell a lifetime warranty on the sunglasses right after they buy them. So say they buy, you know, a $35 pair of shades that you're drop shipping, right afterwards they get sent to like a $8 warranty, right? And it's like, oh, you can have, you know, warranty for life. So if they ever break or crack or anything like that, we'll cover it for $8. What most people will do is, you know, they'll be like, oh, okay, for $8, like they'll, they'll purchase or a percent of that audience that's already buying your sunglasses will purchase that product. It's a free $8 for you guys. Again, it covers the cost of your product, your sunglasses, presumably, right? Because they're usually anywhere between, you know, two and five bucks. It'll cover your cost, guys, in case, you know, they actually do break the glasses and they want that. But most people will probably forget, um, you know, either where they bought the sunglasses or that they have a warranty. And it's just literally free money that you can, you know, persuade people to, to to give you right when they're purchasing. I mean, there's there's a bunch of other ones too, guys, that I have you know right now here just to like give you guys more value. Um, so some people do you know two products for the price of one. Um, again, because just if you if your margins are well, if you're pricing things right and strategically, that's an offer that you know after you get them to buy one thing. And again, with Zipify, you can you can dictate like okay, if they bought this product, then only show them upsells for these products. So if they buy a certain pair of like shades, you can give them you know two bracelets or something, right? For the for the price of one bracelet, right? And people will be like, oh, that's awesome! Like you make it a one-time offer offer that they just purchased so they don't really know how to get back to this page anyways um, so so it's just just more more things that you can use to kind of persuade people to purchase from you another one that's just easy to do again is just after they purchase a product you just offer it an, another product just at a very very heavy discount um, it really goes in it really comes into just sort of like the branding of your guys' store it's a bunch of bugs here um, Sort of the, just the branding behind your entire store and your angles. So like if you are a discount store and that's something you can do, if you're trying to be luxury and stuff, and that's probably not something you would do, you might do the warranty side of things. So again, it, it goes into your branding and kind of how you're leveraging your, your website. Okay guys, now the next tip, okay? So tip number two is have this line of code installed on your checkout page um, that increases your urgency and adds a little bit of scarcity onto your website, okay? Now I have the link in the description as well, but basically what it does, guys, is you're gonna go in there, you're gonna add in a few customers. It's basically a countdown time, okay? It's basically saying your cart is reserved for X amount of minutes, um, and it puts that on the checkout page. Now, what most people do is they just keep it at that, right? And there's a few apps in Shopify that do it for you, but you have to pay for them. There's a way to do this for free, again, with just a line of code. So again, I'll have the link down in the description for you for that, you're just gonna customize it. But again, something that I do personally and what I tell my students in my course to do when they customize this thing is to actually, um, oh, hey brother, how are you? Yeah. 
yeah. what I tell my students to do in my course, guys, is when they're actually customizing it, to create a coupon in the back office called like save five or save 10, and actually have that in like in conjunction with the countdown timer. So you, if you tell someone to say, instead of saying, your cart is just reserved for 10 minutes, right? With an exclamation mark, like, yeah, it adds a little bit of urgency, but it, it like, it'll help your conversions, but not as much as I think it can. Whereas if you say, use code save five for 5% off your order in the next, you know, X amount of minutes, that's where the countdown is like 10 minutes, right? Then it adds urgency and scarcity at the checkout page, which is something they weren't expecting. And it's a pleasant surprise. So it's even better when you can kind of go above and beyond the customer's expectations. So they go to checkout, you know, they're expecting, you know, either like a high shipping cost or they're just expecting, you know, tax, whatever it is. And you actually give them a free discount that they can literally just take. They didn't have to do anything more. Um, and just give them a, a countdown, it'll boost you guys' conversion rates. There's case studies on it, guys, and everything like that. Again, link is in the description where you can figure that out and then copy the code in. Um, what you're doing is you're basically pasting that code in to where you paste in your Google Analytics code, and then under there, there's a little segment called additional code or scripts. You're just gonna paste your code in there, um, save it, guys, and that's what's gonna change um, on your checkout page, okay? Now, the last thing, too, is with dropshipping, right? Because most of you guys watching this are probably dropshipping. You probably aren't white labeling or private, um, private labeling, but, you need to do something different because most people that you're marketing to, especially if you're marketing on Black Friday or any of these buying frenzy days, is most people are already psychologically primed. They're primed to see discounts. They're primed to see offers. So just giving them a, a, a discount or an offer isn't necessarily going to gain their attention when they already know they're going to be seeing a bunch of these offers or seeing a bunch of discounts. Customers know going into Black Friday, Cyber Monday, there's discounts everywhere. Okay, so again, you just gotta change your angle up a bit, guys, and I think that's what a lot of people mess up on is they think they can just you know, throw a fat coupon discount out there, run a bunch of ads and make a lot of money, which in some cases you can, depending on your angle, but that's not something you always wanna do. Again, you wanna try and be a little bit different. Like, I wouldn't say don't run any you know, conversion ads with you know, that sort of discount offer, um, but switch it up for a bit. What I mean by that you know, is switch up your copy a bit, switch up your imagery, switch up your actual offer. Instead of a percent, you could do two products for one, like anything like that, guys. Just switch it up a little bit. Um, again, those are my three tips. Um, I'm out here in Bali and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like. Don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're literally out here actually filming a documentary for you, um, actually making a custom brand. You'll see that. Links are in the description for everything, guys. The course, the, the, the link that you guys need for tip number two and everything else for the free group and everything. I'll see you guys later. Take care.